it's like uh, you know, uh, eight nine years. We are mostly focusing uh, focus yeah, on uh, this expanding the production base and developing the skilled human resources. Uh, expanding the production base means you know uh, advocating on the access to resources like uh, rights, um, land rights uh, for the smallholder farmers, women access to land and control over land. So this kind of work we were doing on uh, as a part of social and political justice. But now, since um, now um, uh, with this now our new country strategy, we are uh, now focused on the economic justice and economic rights also. So this project, Strengthening Women's Collective, which is a multi-country project, uh, uh, this is uh, one of the you know contributing project for us uh, to develop our uh, new learning uh, on this initiative of you know life development value chain and access to market. So now. What uh, we did, uh, you know, uh, on engaging with the market and access to market was like uh, first we uh, we uh, we worked on creating awareness to the collectives and empowering them about the importance of market. That how important is market for them, for their own economic empowerment, for them to go out to the market sphere and engage in the market level for uh, for earning the you know uh, income. And then uh, uh, we uh, simultaneously we also engage with the market actors like uh, local level market uh, actors at the village level, especially because in Nepal uh, the the project where we are focusing is in, in a very remote area. There are small small uh, local markets uh, which are uh, operate uh, like in a weekly basis. So uh, there we work with the market actors like the uh, that like the management com uh, committee uh, stakeholders. Uh, government authorities like uh, VDC label, village label, develop, uh, village label, government authorities, district level government authorities, and also with the uh, various networks, at the uh, uh, women networks, political parties, at the uh, market um, label, so that we can, you know, we can um, uh, increase the participation of the women at the market level and also at the market management committee. So um, that was on uh, the formation of the uh, local level market management committee, and now the, the, there are um, more women representative representative in the market management committee and also in the key positions. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> and uh, okay, I'll face uh, down. So. And the next thing, uh, what we did uh, like uh, to, uh, you know, increase the participation of women in the market level is like we supported, uh, you know, it was a little support as a means to, you know, increase the participation of the women in market level, like infrastructure support, like inst uh, like a stall, like this kind of uh, stalls uh, for the markets. Uh, and also sidewalks and uh, there was no public toilet so the uh, the women uh, sellers you know producers they were often very hesitant or if they have they, they used to you know have very limited time in the market to uh, sell their products that's why we support it in this kind of infrastructure also and uh, uh, also for the uh, the women producer because uh, since it is in a remote area they don't have uh, you know access to information about the various market um, market areas about their products like in which uh, market areas they have their, their products have higher uh, values so uh, we uh, partner with the community radio fm so that the radio uh, the, the, the radio fm they uh, you know on the daily basis they um, broadcast the information of their products uh, such as uh, now we are focusing on ginger chili um, and all the spices um, uh, uh, that is um, grown at the local level and also on handicrafts, uh, local handicraft materials like let's say Dhaka handicraft fa fabric uh, weaving. So uh, this radio uh, program, they uh, broadcast the market information um, of this pro uh, products in various market areas so that the women farmers and the uh, you know, producers, they get to know the, uh, you know, uh, market information, price information of their products in, in which area they have a high, you know, higher risk and uh, they can sell, uh, they can choose to uh, uh, take their product to those areas. Uh, and, and also, uh, currently we are working on, uh, you know, exploring on the diversification of their product. For example, if they are working in Chile, they are producing Chile, we are trying to uh, make it chili pickle, chili powder, uh, dry chili, various, uh, and if there is ginger, like ginger juice, you know, ginger powder, this kind of thing. And if there is this handicraft material, like, like uh, Dhaka fabrics, uh, like in SCTN, we are also exploring to uh, prepare those kind of materials from that goes. 
so we are exploring this kind of thing and also um, uh, also trying to uh, build the capacity of women about the markets okay how markets is so um, uh, from the exposure visits like for, from the exhibition programs you know uh, like uh, the government and non government uh, private sector they um, uh, organize this exhibition and trade uh, tra tra fair program so uh, we, uh, you know, we support uh, for the participation of these women producers in those kind of exhibitions so that they go to, uh, you know, connect, uh, get linked with the various market um, actors and, and also they get to know about the, you know, uh, uh, markets, uh, various market areas and the demands of the markets. So this is our initiatives and um, the, there are challenges. There are, uh, you know, we have faced a lot of challenges and yesterday in the, um, this wealth creation of, uh, you know, exercise also, we were in a zero <laughs> section. We, we were in a zero section in built capital. Uh, so we have a very difficult in road uh, access because we have poor infrastructure development. That's why, uh, you know, access to raw materials is also very difficult. Um, and also, uh, you know, uh, we have this uh, political unrest and uh, this earthquake disaster. That these things are going on in Nepal that has uh, very much disturbed because the women um, producers they are producing their goods in a large quantity, but then there is no uh, you know vehicles to uh, carry their uh, products. So uh, you know they don't have any option to sell in the local markets in a very low price. And also the government program and policy is not very supporting for the um, smallholder farmers and the producer. So these are the challenges and uh, future strategies like engaging with the local market again to, uh, um, uh, to strengthen the local market to make it favorable for the women and also to engage with the government uh, stakeholders on a policy, uh, you know, policy intervention so that they can create a favorable environment uh, for the uh, women uh, producers. So these are the major things that we will be focusing on in, uh, in our coming days. And apart from that, we have, uh, from these learnings, we have created a handbook on livelihood development which uh, focuses on, you know, how uh, rural women can uh, develop themselves as, as a women entrepreneur by uh, reading uh, and going through this uh, uh, handbook. This is uh, recently published. So I have a Thank you very much. Well, two quick questions. No questions. Excellent. Okay. Is it a corporate or a collective registered? Or? Yeah, collective. Some collectives are now, uh, you know, transformed into a registered cooperative already. Like full cooperative collectives have uh, transformed into a cooperative. More questions? No. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.